Hi everyone, today we're going to study work done by a variable force along a line. When a body moves a distance d along a straight line as a result of being acted on by a force or constant magnitude f in the direction of motion. The work W done by the force on the body has the formula work equals force times distance. Or to simplify, we write capital W equals capital F D. The unit of work done is Joule. If the force varies along the way, the formula W equals FD has to be replaced by an integral formula that takes the variation of F into account. The work done by a variable force, capital F of X, directed along the X axis from X equals A, to x equals b is capital W, that is the work, equals the definite integral from a to b of the function capital F of x dx. The units of the integral are joules and foot pound. We use joules if f is in newton and x is in meters. We used foot pound if f is in pounds and x in feet. Let's see this example one. Find the work done by a force of capital F of x equals one over x square Newton along the x axis from x equals 1 meter to x equals 10 meters. Let us write our formula of work here. Then let us substitute the corresponding values. W equals the definite integral from 1 to 10. Our function capital F of x is 1 over x squared. And we can write it here as x raised to negative 2, then dx. Now let us integrate. The integral of x raised to negative 2 now becomes x raised to negative 1 over negative 1. We simplify this into negative 1 over x. And this will be evaluated from 1 to 10. So the next step now is to write negative 1 over 10 minus negative 1 over 1. In this second fraction, 1 over 1 is simply 1, while negative and negative becomes positive. So we write here plus 1, and the sum will give us 9 over 10. Our unit of measurement will be Joule, because f of x is in Newton, while the x is given in meters. This is the final answer. This is the work done. Example 2. A leaky bucket is lifted from the ground into the air by pulling in 20 feet of rope at a constant speed. The bucket starts with 16 pounds of water and leaks at a constant rate. It finishes draining just as it reaches the top. How much work was spent by lifting the water alone? We write the formula of the work and take note the force required to lift the water is equal 
to the water's weight, which varies steadily from 16 to 0 pound over the 20 foot lift. So when the bucket is X feet off the ground, the water weighs, that is the F of X, equals 16 times the fraction 20 minus X all over 20. We simplify the fraction into 1 minus X over 20. Then we multiply the 16 by this binomial and the final answer will be 16 minus 4X over 5. This is our F of X given in pounds. Going now to our work formula, let us substitute the corresponding values. So W equals the definite integral from 0 to 20. Our function F of X is now 16 minus 4X over 5 dx. Now let us integrate. Integral of 16 is 16x minus integral of 4x over 5 is 4 over 5 times x squared over 2. We simplify further and we write 16x minus 2x squared over 5 to be evaluated from 0 to 20. So the next step now is 16 times 20 minus 2 times 20 square over 5 minus the second group 16 times 0 minus 2 times 0 square over 5. Because of the 0 in the second group, all of this will come to 0. So we can cancel this out. Then let us simplify the first group. 16 times 20 will give 320 minus this fraction can be simplified into 160. And the difference is 160. Our unit of measurement is feet pound. This is the work done. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.